Hi, I'm uh, here with Claire Jones with What Three Words, and you know I wrote about What Three Words uh, a number of months ago, and they have just gotten a lot of buzz here at the uh, Esri conference. And so I'm going to turn the mic over to Claire and let her talk about some of the new developments with What Three Words. Thanks. So yeah, so just for people who don't know What Three Words, if there are any of you left, uh, What Three Words is a new global addressing system, and it's based on words. So we we started from the fact that it's great to be able to talk about every part of this amazing planet. So whether you want to talk about a beautiful spot to hike in a national park, or you want to say where a fire hydrant is that somebody needs to uh, go and maintain, or you want to go and deliver aid to somebody in a rural village in Tanzania. All of these places need to be talked about, and lots of them don't have addresses. Addresses can be very broad, they might not be accurate, they may not even exist in certain areas. So we said, okay, we divided the whole world into a grid of three meter squares. So that's 57 trillion of these three meter squares in the world. Each of those squares has a completely unique code made of three simple words. So for example, table, chair, spoon, or I used to have a desk at banana legs broken. And there's another brilliantly named one in actually in London, which is called Never Neverland. So you get these amazing different uh, combinations of words and they, they are randomly generated uh, with a few tweaks. So they seem random when you, when you uh, experience it. So I'm, I'm looking at my address. It won't be a description of the place. It will be three, a, a string of three words. But within that, we've done a few things. So we intelligently distribute. So that means we put similar combinations really, really far apart. So it means when I'm typing into my app, if my friend has texted me and said, come to Index Home Raft, I, that's in London. I, if I accidentally type in Index Home Rafts, that has been distributed so it's on the other side of the world. So it means I know immediately from when I'm typing it in, I should end up in London, not in Western Australia. So you know you're either absolutely on the money, you're in the right place, or you're way off. So you know immediately if you're in the right place. So that's the, the quick summary. Uh, it's been really interesting to be here as, at, the, at the conference. We've had a lot of, lot of interesting developments recently. We recently won an award for Geospatial Startup of the Year, which is very exciting for us. But we had lots of really, really amazing companies integrating us into their geospatial work. So one is this uh, company called Ambiental who do flood risk management and they're using what three words because they have all this amazing data about where there are flood risks and where uh, things need to be uh, someone needs to go to a, a river bank and do something there and I'm uh, showing you my app. Oh, he's showing me the app. Okay. We've got an app here. So the, here is the free app which you can download on Android and iOS and you can discover your own three word address, which everyone loves to do and I hope it's a good one. This one today we're at retain format emerge. So that's where we are today. So we've got lots of lots of brilliant companies like Ambiental who use it and the big thing for them is to they've got this amazing GIS information, but in the real world, people aren't very good at using coordinates. Not everyone's a GIS expert who can know exactly where in the world something is from a coordinate. So they want to be able to tell someone in the field to go to this point or to move a shelter that's in a, a risk of, of flooding in a refugee camp or any, any of those things that are about the real world or asset management or people in the real world. So that, that's a big thing for us. And there's been lots of really exciting exciting uh, uses in, in the GIS world for us recently as well. That's just one of, the, one of them. One question, um, you, uh, just so uh, the readers understand, uh, you mentioned that the words are randomly generated, but they're randomly generated once and from that point on, it's locked in concrete. Is that correct? Absolutely. So it's completely fixed. Once, so once the the word lists have gone through the algorithm and they're distributed around the world in each language. So we have a time, of course, where we test and we have a beta phase for the languages. Once they're fixed, they never change. So that means I could uh, take this app and it works offline and it works without data connection. And I could be away for six months and nothing changes in that time. No address changes. So I'm going to have the same experience. That three word address is going to take me to the same place. If I do it today, I do it in six months, I do it in 10 years. It also means when we're working in regions where people don't have smartphones, they don't need a smartphone to be able to use the address. They, can, they need it to discover it. So if I'm a field worker, I can say, okay, here's your three word address, give it to you, stick it on your door. That never changes. So they don't need to check, they don't need the smartphone to check it to see if it's changing because it never will. Good. Thank you very much. Thank you.